All right, again, Coach Chris here. I wanted to talk about how to change your uh, Garmin Watches GPS satellites. So for those of you running a, uh, especially a marathon, like the Chicago Marathon in an urban environment, um, as of 2020, there are more options and ways that you can make your GPS more precise. Um, now, if you really want to get into the weeds, you can actually download an app on your phone that can show you and detect what satellites you're picking up. So if you're in an urban environment between tall buildings and you're kind of curious, do I get different satellites? Um, the GPS satellite systems are the ones here with the U.S. flag on them. The Russian satellites are called GLONASS. That's the acronym for the Russian Satellite Network. And then there's Galileo, which has the European flag here. The Galileo Network is uh, fully operational as of 2020, so in the beginning of 2021 especially, um, the Galileo network orbits at a higher altitude, so it can get the signal down between taller buildings a little bit better. Um, so it's a more modern, more accurate uh, GPS system as a whole. So now that it's fully operational, if you want to increase your, especially a Garmin watch's accuracy, you want to make sure you're picking up these EU satellites uh, from the Galileo network. So uh, you don't need to download an app on your phone, kind of get crazy with this. Um, all you need to do with your Garmin watch is simply, um, if you're at the home menu in the beginning of the watch, hit the upper right button, select your sport mode. So rather than going into the main settings, you want to enter a sport and activity mode first, because you can change the satellite setting based on activity. If you want a different uh, satellite network for cycling versus running versus hiking, you can change it within each activity. Once you're in the activity, hit the middle button on the left, hold that down, That'll bring up the menu, and then hit the upper right to select your sport mode settings. So I'm going to select the run settings, and then scroll all the way down. It's pretty far down on the menu. Um, keep going until you see GPS. Here you can select by hitting the upper right again. Then what you want to select, the default might be GPS only. Um, I think Garmin's, if you've been updating them, might have already switched this for you. So you might have this already set, but if not, Select GPS plus Galileo, especially Chicago Marathon, first 5K, you're running through tall downtown buildings. You want the Galileo network. Um, it might drain your battery a little bit more, but it's worth it for accuracy, especially when you go underground the first couple miles, um, under tunnels, um, reconnecting to satellites, you might find um, that you will get better accuracy with the Galileo network. It's pretty common in Chicago Marathon for people to have accuracy that's not 26.2 miles at the finish. It might be 27 miles, um, might be less. Um, this will be the first major marathon, I think in an urban environment in uh, North America at least, um, where the Galileo GPS satellites might be more beneficial. Um, so select that. You don't need to do old track mode. Old track mode is for ultra marathons. You'll get fewer data points. Um, if you're in a rural setting, you might find you get better accuracy with GLONASS. GPS is generally the best, but Galileo has greater accuracy in a higher orbit. Um, so you'll find generally in urban environments, that'll be your best setting. The other thing that you might want to check is all the way back in the main menu. Um, if you hold down the middle button, scroll down to system and just make sure your recording method is set to one second. Um, versus smart recording. If you want more battery life, you can do smart recording. But if you go to system, then scroll down to your data recording method, all the way at the bottom here, almost at the bottom. Um, and here, I think the default setting might be smart recording. That's where it'll record data points every, I think, five seconds or so, um, depending on the situation. Um, but if you want more data points, more accuracy, in theory at least, um, the every second method might be the best way to go. So select GPS plus Galileo, select every second, and you can hit the back button to back out, and you should be good to go. So give that a whirl. Hopefully you'll find that, um, we'll find out, I guess. You can always comment down below if you try these settings or different settings. And let me know if you find better accuracy. I'll be curious to see um, at the Chicago Marathon this year if we'll uh, have folks get better accuracy than in past years. Um, if you're selecting that option. So if you like this video or you'd like me to make more on different topics, feel free to post below, uh, like and subscribe to our Four Star Endurance YouTube channel, and I'll try to make more videos like this. All right. Thanks, gang.